Good morning, White Kids Warriors and White Kids Families. This is Mr. Luke here. Happy Sunday! And today is a special Sunday because it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks, Maddie. And that's right, I'm a dad too. And you need to make sure to celebrate your dad or anyone who's acted like a dad in your life. Tell them thank you and reach out and have a good conversation with them today. Last week, we started our series, Keys to the Kingdom. And we talked about what it looks like to bring more of God's heaven to earth through the way we live. Last Sunday's big idea was that Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my caring heart. We talked about how loving and caring like Jesus is one way we can bring heaven to earth in our own daily lives. Today we'll be talking about another way we can bring heaven to earth. But before we hear from Peter and Jez, let's jump into a game. It's our Would You Rather game. For those of you who missed it last week, this is a speed edition. I'm gonna ask you guys questions and you get to see what your family's answers would be. Would you rather share your room with a hundred chirping birds or share your room with one angry gorilla? Question number two. Would you rather share your breakfast with a trained lion or share your breakfast with a trained giraffe? Question number three. Would you rather share your couch while watching TV with 20 barking dogs or would you rather Share your couch while watching TV with 10 scratchy cats. Thanks so much for playing our Would You Rather game. While none of us will probably ever be sharing our room, our breakfast, or our couch with crazy animals, I do know that God asks us to give up comfort when we share with others. To illustrate that point, let's jump right into our PB&J show with Peter and Jez. Hi guys. Usually this is the part where me and Jez both introduce the show, but he just texted me and told me that he wanted to tell me something before we started filming. I just really hope he doesn't have some weird magic trick to show me again. But anyway, I'm gonna try him here on FaceTime real quick. Peter! Man, Jez, give me a warning before you do something like that next time. Have you had like six cups of coffee again? You promised me you were gonna cut back on the caffeine, bud. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, you will never believe it. I won! What? Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe you won. Uh, what did you win exactly? I'm, I don't remember. Dude, come on, you remember the Chipotle catering contest. You know, the one that they throw a post-quarantine party for you and 20 of your closest friends? Nope, not ringing a bell. Ah, uh, dude, come on, Peter. I've been trying to tell you about this for like months now. No, I don't think you've brought it up even once. Hey Peter, guess what? I just entered in the Chipotle catering contest. Oh, man, today is just a great day, but not as great as the time when I'm gonna win the Chipotle catering contest. Dude, Peter, do you think Chipotle will call me today? Yeah, no, I still don't remember this. But what was I doing? Jess, wanna hear another cat fact? My island is so close to having a five-star rating. Hey Jez, you want to see me put my entire fist in my mouth? Okay, okay, all right, I, I see your point there, but Jez, that's so exciting. Do you know how many burritos you can get for like 20 people? You can invite me and Emily and even Piper, and she eats a lot of burritos, so she'll take care of half of it anyway. This is gonna be great. <laughs> I'm not inviting anybody. What? But you won a party. Uh, uh, yeah, but do you know how much food Sam and I will have because of this? Dude, we won't have to worry about food for weeks. Given how crazy it is, this might be the perfect opportunity to stock up. Just in case it gets a little insane again. Jess, you, you didn't even run out of toilet paper this entire time. Why would you run out of food now? You know God provides for everything that we need. I mean, we literally just talked about that last month. Well, Peter, I'm not taking any chances. We have to be prepared for anything. All right, well, you try to eat 100 burritos by yourself and let me know what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and read today's letter. It says, Dear Peter and Jess, my little brother has been super annoying. He is constantly taking my stuff without asking and doing things that bother me on purpose. Now I don't even wanna spend time with him, even when he's being nice. Last week we talked about doing things God's way and not the world's way. But how can I do that when my brother is super annoying? From Karen. Ah, yes, the annoying brother. That's definitely a tough one, Karen. You know what? 
I actually have the perfect answer. Hide your stuff. Hide your stuff, your brother will never find it. Just, I don't think that's going to solve anything. That actually seems like a weird idea that I would suggest, surprisingly. Well, think about it. What if her brother breaks one of her favorite toys or she can't find something that she really needs? You might as well just lock it away. Honestly, I don't think that is what Jesus's way would look like, Jez. So Karen's wanting to know how to bring heaven on earth in her situation. You know, I think I have a better idea. Let's take a look at today's Bible story, which is from John chapter six, verses five through 13. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers, so that nothing is wasted. You guys. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wow. So Jesus and his disciples were able to feed 5,000 people with just two fish and five loaves of bread? That is an incredible miracle. And they even had leftovers. No one went without anything. Exactly, exactly. And it was because of Jesus' miracle and that boy's sharing heart. You're so right, Jess. Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my sharing heart. During this whole pandemic, God provided for you and your wife. He is not going to drop the ball now. And God wants me to use what I have to care for other people as well, just like the boy did in the story. I mean, he gave up his entire lunch just to help feed the people who are coming to listen to Jesus. It would have been so easy for the boy to not share his lunch and keep it for himself. Just like it would be easy for Karen to hide her toys and for you to hoard all those burritos. But when we share what God has blessed us with, he can do incredible things through us. Yeah, it's crazy to see what one boy's sharing heart and obedience to Jesus could do for thousands of people. Could you imagine what the world would look like if we all just began to share and love just like Jesus did? It would look so much more like heaven. So Karen, while your brother may seem a little annoying at times, you can help bring more of heaven to this earth by asking God to give you a new heart for him and pushing away your own desires to keep your brother out. You even just sharing some of your time, energy, and things with him is making your home look more like heaven. And who knows how that could overflow into others outside of your home. Wow, that's so good, Pete. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of unnatural to share. It's hard. But you know what? I feel so much joy when I'm able to share what God has given me with others. You know, God can do a lot with my sharing heart. You're right, Jess. So, you know what? I think it'll be great to have the party and invite everybody, not just me and Sam. Besides, I really miss everyone. It has been way too long. 
I agree. I'm ready to hang out again. Just promise not to eat all the beans at the party, okay? Uh, we'll see. But I'll see you in a few weeks. Wow, what an amazing week! Today we got to see how Jesus used both the disciples and a young boy's sharing heart to help those around them. It would have been so easy for that boy to keep the food all to himself. I'm thinking fish sandwich. But he would have missed out on being part of a miracle and from impacting those around him. I'm sure he had no idea what sharing his food with Jesus would do, but he was willing to follow Jesus' way. And that one boy's sharing heart brought heaven to earth for a lot of people. Now, remember what we've been talking about this week. There are two ways we can live. There's the world's way of thinking, only thinking about yourself. And there's Jesus' way of thinking, thinking about others and having a sharing heart. Our big idea today is that Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my sharing heart. Can you guys say that with me? Jesus opens up more of heaven on earth through my sharing heart. That's right. Have you guys ever struggled to have a sharing heart? Maybe especially with someone who's not so easy to love? Not him, anybody but him. Oh, do I have to? Sometimes it's hard, but loving and sharing your time, stuff, and energy with those around you, even if they're annoying, unkind, or different from you, is bringing more of heaven to this earth. Think about how you can bring heaven to earth by choosing Jesus' way over the world's way. And think about what the world would look like if we all began living, loving, and sharing like Jesus did. Let's pray that God shows us a way that we can share his love with others this week. Will you guys pray with me? Lord God, I ask that you would help us find someone that we can have a sharing heart with this week. I ask that you would help us share your love with others. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Before we end, remember that we have a new memory verse that we've been saying for this series. Will you guys say it with me? Matthew 6, Put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do then all those things will be given to you. When we put God's kingdom first, we can do powerful things in our lives through our sharing heart. Try to remember that verse this week so it, it can be a reminder for you for how you can love others and bring God's kingdom to this earth every day. Before we close, it's that thing you've all been waiting for. Let's take a look at the tribe challenges with Mr. Josh. Hey everyone, it's Waymaker's resident rascal Josh Lakaitis coming at you again with another tribe challenge. Now, last week's challenge was to do the most impressive thing with one hand on your hip. Let's take a look and see what you guys submitted this week. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw the basketball hoop and made an assumption, but then you blew my assumption out of the water. Way to go, Micah. I couldn't do that with my right hand, let alone my left hand. Wow. Really? That's the best you could do? Now, this week's challenge is to build the best volcano. So that could mean, you know, getting out your Play-Doh, going that classic style, or it could mean building a volcano out of blankets or whatever you find fun. I can't wait to see what you guys submit. As usual, you can always submit your video on facebook.com slash waymakerwaykids uh, as a comment to one of these videos. As always, keep the videos under 20 seconds and have them submitted by Wednesday, June 24th by 4 p.m. I can't wait to see what you guys submit. I'll see you next week. Back to Luke. Thanks, Josh. You guys did a great job. I can't wait to see what you're going to do next week. Parents, as always, you can continue this conversation with your child through the link below. I can't wait to see what God is going to do through each of you this week as he brings more of heaven to earth through your sharing heart. All right, Warriors, let's go change the world. Bye, everyone.